So this is the back of my clutch basket. And if you look really carefully there, you'll see that as it's been spinning around, these rivets here have been catching ever so slightly, but still catching enough to certainly make a noise. And the noise has been the rivet hitting the top of the clutch selector shifter plate, or the clutch, the, the gear selector shifter plate, just in this little area here. Not hitting it by much, but certainly uh, creating that sound. So the problem is, I, I don't believe that this clutch basket is in the wrong position. Uh, the um, the sleeve and space and everything are all in the right position and I believe this is going back as far as it needs to go. I don't believe it's going back too far. I think what the problem will be is that this shifter plate is too far forward and I'm nervous about the actual plate and, and how it actually fits. It just seems sloppy and it doesn't really seem to be correct. So I've got two choices. One is I can open up the side of my new CRF230F and inspect that to see how that is all arranged and see if I'm missing any parts or continue to research online uh, looking in parts manuals and workshop manuals to see it, what, why this is not going you know, further, further back and therefore just giving me a clearance from these rivets here. soaking my plates and uh, all ready for reassembly. I would like to get this back together again soon. Now that I've found the problem, so it looks like that's that uh, clearance if you like, the meshing of the oil pump gear is not a biggie. Looks like that's going to be okay, even though it sort of sounds noisy. I guess once the oil is sloshing around there, that should sort of take care of that and probably they don't probably whip around too much anyway. I'm pretty sure that the noise I was hearing uh, was this because this is fresh you can see that that's definitely been touching there as it's been going around and it sort of lines up with that noise as well that sort of clickety clickety click you know that will be about right with the RPMs are going around it's going clang 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 and this plate here of course it will radiate and give a real metallic sound uh, it's just the way that it's sitting there on its spring and and the sewer clip and stuff, it's, it's loose, it's so it can actually make a sound. So yeah, that, that's, I, th I think that is the diagnostic. I believe that is the diagnostic for what my noise is. So I'm not going to pull the other side of the crankcase open. Uh, the alternator side, I'm going to leave that. I don't believe there's the problem. I do, did always feel that it was coming more from the clutch side anyway. So what I'm going to do now is just spend time investigating this whole shifter plate and a shifter mechanism uh, to make sure I've got that reassembled properly and I'm not missing any parts. Um, remember I got this motor uh, pretty much in parts and I have, I was missing some parts, remember I was missing that, that bearing etc and I have had to source some parts so it may well be that I'm missing a small spacer or I've got a spacer in the wrong position something like that. Um, I'm also uh, still in the process of going to Honda and getting the oil seal uh, for the um, for for the shifter uh, shaft um, because that was weeping. Remember, so I've taken that out. I've got that all ready to go. Shops open again tomorrow, uh, so I'm hopeful that I can actually pick up a new uh, seal. Hopeful I can also sort this hair out tomorrow as well. Work out what the problem is, reassemble everything properly, uh, refill of oil, and. Um, be a step further to having this uh, this bike uh, rideable. Okay, well, I hopefully that's been interesting. Probably not so interesting because it's probably a problem that I've caused myself, um, and not something that other people are likely to have come across. So um, initially, I thought it might have been the oil pump drive gear, but yeah, I, I think the problem really is down here on this plate and hitting the back of the rivets here on my clutch basket and my main drive gear. So thank you for viewing and uh, I'll let you know how I end up
sorting this one out. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of a problem for me.